Now we'll create a new material ID with the T code MM01 and we'll pass that material through the Auburn program using transition code BD10. So first go to sender system. This is the receiver 500. Okay. Go to sender system first. That is a 700. MM01. I'm selecting industry type as construction and my material type will be ROH. I'm creating raw material. Only basic data I'm passing as of now. We then press test for IDOC from 700 to 500. So the material code is which is we creating 473. Get the best unit of measure FT2. Okay, I'm entering only two two fields here. That is material type. Uh, sorry, the description and the base unit of measure. Click on save. So you can see the material code 473 is created. Now, before transferring, check in the sender system. MM03 473. So material code 473 does not exist. Okay, now we'll transfer this through the IDOC. In the sender system, execute T code BD10. Here, enter the material ID which you want to transfer. Select the logical system that is defined at receiver. The message type is MATMAS, which will come by default. This is the standard send material program given by SAP. Execute. So now here, see it is giving message one master ID doc is created. There are two ID doc created one is master ID doc. Second is communication ad hoc. The master ad hoc means for system selecting the data from the sender system. Okay, for each record, one master ad hoc is created, but it is not stored in the database. Okay, if you have any filtering criteria or conversion which we are not used yet, after that, a communication ad hoc is created, which is to be transferred to sender system. So, this we will see in detail in the next session. So one master ad hoc is created, enter. You can see one communication ad hoc is generated. Press enter. Okay. Now go to WE02. This is the center site. Today is it. Execute. So here you can see only one ad hoc is there on the today's date. Okay. So first you can see the control record, which is contained the basic type, the partner information, where we are sending the data through this port. This is the receiver. This is technical information. Go back. Go to data record. Here you can see the data which you have passed. You can see the description which we have given. This is the data record. This is the unit of measure which we enter. And here you can see the status record. The zero one is that is IDOC generated. Then IDOC ready for dispatch. And the data is passed. That is zero three. Zero three is success. Okay. The latest status you can see in the control record here. Zero three on the main screen. Okay. The green means it is sent successfully. And the direction is 1, that is outbox. And the IDOC number is 2001. Now we'll get to go to sender system. Here first go to WE02. Execute. You can see here also. See the number uh, the IDOC number is different in both the system. In sender is a different number range and receiver different number range. So here the number is 3001. Here the control record. It is green, means record is created successfully. Go to data record. Check the description. We pass this material. You can see the material ID is 473. And the status record. As I explained in the introduction section, for the center system, the number range is different. 
and for the receiver system the number is different that is 50 i talk is added 64 62 and 53 53 success you can see the i is posted okay it's the green icon now in the receiver system go to mm03 the metal id is 473 press enter you can see the metal is created in the receiver system this is 500 okay so in this way we have successfully created successfully transfer the ad hoc from the center system to receiver system so in this way in a very short time we have configured the complete ad hoc ledger object and we have successfully transferred the ad hoc from center system to receiver so in the next system uh, next session we will see the ad hoc filtering what is ad hoc filtering how it works that we will see in the next session thank you